guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I can finally again after months hold up a big stack of books that I read this month in March. <laughs> five books to show you guys which I have like read in the month of March. I haven't finished all five. I finished three, almost finished a fourth, and I'm also currently reading a fifth. But before I'm gonna start this video, you guys can follow me on all of my different social media pages to keep up to date with what I'm reading and what I'm doing in my life. So of course because I'm a booktuber I have Goodreads, but I also have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address, and links to those will be in the description bar down below so you guys can check that out. And then the first book that I finished in March is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. I uh, bought this book from Michelle, who's also a really awesome Dutch English speaking booktuber here on YouTube and I will leave a link to her channel somewhere here up on the screen. I absolutely adored this book. I think this is one of my new favorites. It's around 450 pages so it's quite big but then again the lettering and font stuff like that is also quite big and I flew through this book. It was so easy for me to like finally read a hundred pages a day again. The premise is the thing that really caught my eye on this book. This is a contemporary book about a gay boy who has a really hard time at home. Like his mom is working full time, his dad is not in the picture, his brother just got his girlfriend pregnant, and his mother has Alzheimer's. And the thing that happened is that his ex-boyfriend killed himself a couple of months ago. Besides all this family drama, which is very interesting, the thing that really caught my attention is that the main character gets abducted by aliens and he has to decide whether earth is gonna like get destroyed in 144 days or not and um, he meets another guy in his school. I really adored the whole story of this book. I really loved how Sean David Hutchinson writes. It's so quick to get through and the story itself is super impactful and it's definitely more a contemporary than how aliens play a role. I would recommend this to everyone and I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. I want to read so much more of Sean David Hutchinson right now. Next up, I think this is my most anticipated book of the year. It's a sequel called a Girl Called Shameless by Laura Steven. This is the sequel to The Exact Opposite of OK, which came out last year and I read it after I bought it in Dublin with my mom. And it was my absolute favorite read of all time. These are my favorite books of all time. Laura's humor. Oh my god, I've never laughed out loud with books, but especially with The Exact Opposite of OK, I was like laughing so incredibly much. I had to tell everyone about that book. And I think about like five or even more of my friends have picked up that book because I was like recommending it so incredibly much. The themes which are super central in this like duology is feminism, slut shaming, and how to like work against the image of basically like girls just living their life. These books have made my life so much better and I will just keep on reading them and I cannot wait to read all the other books that Laura is going to come out with. I think I gave A Girl Called Shameless four and a half out of five stars because I didn't enjoy it as much as the first book but it was very close. I really liked the development of our main character in this book. Yes, really really enjoyed it. After A Girl Called Shameless I really wanted to read another sequel in a series. I've been doing uh, really quite well because I'm usually super bad at continuing series. I picked up The Wicked King by Holly Black, the sequel to The Cruel prints. This cover is one of the most beautiful books that I've ever seen. And because it's a sequel, I'm not gonna tell you guys anything about this plot, but The Cruel Prince is basically about three sisters. Two of them are human, one of them is half fae, who have been brought into this fairy world by their father. It's not really their father, only their half fae sister's father. Their mortal parents have been killed in the regular world. They have to get used to how fairy street humans and they get like thrown into this whole political world and it's really interesting. I have to say in this book not super much happens. It's not mainly driven by actions and like by the plot but much more by the characters and the interactions that they have with each other. It's also definitely a good book I think to start with when you haven't read much fantasy. Most people People enjoyed The Wicked King much more than The Cruel Prince, but I think I prefer The Cruel Prince. I cannot really pinpoint what it is that I preferred about that book, but again, still really enjoyed this one and I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. I think it's really funny how Holly Black already knows the cover, the title, the synopsis of the third book, but it's gonna come out in January. So it's basically still almost a year away from us.
those were the three books which I finished in March. I'm really happy that I read three books again. It's been such a long time. The fourth book that I'm currently reading, I could have finished this book yesterday, but I didn't, and that is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I think that's how you pronounce her name because this is all about like Spanish culture in America. It is a like slam poetry written type of book. It is so easy to get through because I mean, how long can it take you to read these type of pages? And I'm gonna finish it today on April 1st. Until so far, it feels just as like good, as impactful as a regular book with just whole pages full of words. The message gets brought over like really, really well. This is about a girl who grows up in a very religious family and how she struggles with that and her um, going out with boys and doing whatever she wants. It's very good to see how sometimes family and passions don't really agree but I think the overall message is to just do whatever you really want to and just follow your heart. I haven't finished it yet but I feel like this is gonna be a four out of five star read. The last book that I'm currently reading, I don't think I've read anything of this book this month but I am really gonna do my best to finish it in April. It's The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I am like just halfway through if you can see I don't know this is just a classic children's novel and until so far what I've read I thought it was really good I should pick this one up in April again those were the five books kind of which I read in March let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books or whatever kind of book that you read in March I'm very curious to know if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!